Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. It is time, once again, for that weekly painting progress. And I was so jazzed with myself, having actually got some stuff painted, and then I went and dropped everything on our patio. And it was a big drop, and I broke a ton of it. So there were many, many expletives uh, uttering out of my mouth, and I tried my best to put things back together as best I could, and I feel like I did a reasonably decent job of putting said things back together. So bear with me, because, yeah, we'll let you see if you can find all the spots. One model is very obvious where I broke it, because I couldn't find all the parts, and you'll see that in a little bit. But we'll start with the stuff that actually survived, surprisingly. Um, I've been on a bit of an epic sized model kick and one of my favorite designers for models of that size is KMFP and they had been doing prior to even the actual GW game stuff uh, all sorts of various factions and then when GW started to flex their muscles and start putting stuff out again uh, KMFP decided to kind of back off a little bit and reevaluate the designs that they'd already released and we're going to update a bunch of them to make sure that everything was you know comfortably cool and not stepping on any toes so some of these models may not be available in their original as in uh, original designs here that I've got but if you don't see them now chances are they could come back in the future so obviously this is part of their Martian cyborg army Obviously, yeah, I know it's supposed to be Admech stuff, but uh, one of the drone ships that they've got there. And what's always fun about most of the KMFP models is there are a ton of pieces. So they are absolutely modular in the sense that there's a lot of fun parts for you to mess around with. That's always an enjoyable thing. I went with a boring stand. And yeah, like I said, surprisingly, this sucker somehow managed to survive the fall. So as I said, I've slowly been building up with their models, a Martian cyborg army. So you can get a good size idea. Not that any of my armies are on matching bases either. And I mean, it's not like I don't have any proper GW models to hang out with. So eventually they'll have some nice support there too. But one of the things that so far my Martians were lacking was any kind of, you know, mechanized armor. Outside of this, but let's take a swig of stuff here. They had these nice little hovercrafts, of which I did not do the best paint job and just slopped some wash over it to kind of dirty it up a bit. And at that 4x time zoom, at least it looks like I've got just about everything painted. And I even did a little bit of the underside. What's kind of fun is most of these have modular turret options. And I see I have paint somehow on my fingers, maybe from all the gluing I just did. So at least we've got some dedicated troop transports. And what's neat about those is they have a couple of different variations as well. You want more heavily armed ones and you can see uh, there with the barrels that are pointing different directions on that turret on top that's that's fun so at least we've got something to help move troops across the table but then I thought you know what that's all fine and dandy that I've got troop transports but what about some actual backup so then I found these Old War tanks, they were called. I mean, obviously they're like heresy era stuff. But when I saw those big old cannons, I'm like, yeah, there's no way that, you know what, the Admech wouldn't just relinquish that kind of stuff. Sure, they may uh, quote unquote decommission it, but I could totally picture them just salvaging it and rolling with it anyways. And it's not like I'm gonna need only one of them. And just for comparison, so like the frame itself is very similar to the other tanks that came at the design, but then you just have all kinds of various turrets and fun stuff to slap on those side pontoons as well. So we are slowly but steadily building up 
And there went one of the guns. I touched it. <sighs> oh well. We'll just paint it as is. And speaking of things that we're going to have to repaint, so as we've got our little fleet of Martians, I thought, you know what? I need something big and heavy. So why not a knight? And I forget what they're called, but they came up with a nice fun name. I'm going to call it a knight. Now, I don't think these guys are available at the moment. If they are, they're definitely going to be getting changed up a bit. But one of the cool things is there is a slew of ridiculous amount of pieces that you can modify these as well. And you'll notice here, uh, yeah, I don't know what even happened there. It just, he lost his head, his turret, both arms, the shoulder came off of this one, and I slowly found everything except this chunk. So I'm just going to paint it all shot off. It'll work. These are actually really cool kits because, again, much like all the other littler stuff, there are a ton of poses, options, combinations that you can put together. I went with a very, very simple paint scheme. I wanted to leave the back a little bit gloss here. So he'll look good with my Jade Coalition Solar Auxilia guys. And there are... Martian uh, cyborg specific parts that I know KMFP have designed as well. So eventually, um, when I'm not building one of the tall skinny ones with the shields and the lances, I can't remember the name of, because uh, they do have files for those type guys as well, or their variant of it. We'll get around to those. Besides all of that that I broke, um, I did manage to paint a couple more figures. And I know I've been on a absolute... Raging, Raging Heroes binge as of late. This was one of the Jailbirds from a little while back. Yeah, she's pretty glossy, and it's like every time I see these models up close, I keep seeing all these little imperfections if I take off my glasses and I feel like Roddy Piper and they live where, you know, everything is exposed to me for the first time. I'm like, I can't believe I'm getting that old, man, that I gotta, like pop my glasses off to really get a good look at what the heck I'm doing. That's kind of sad. I'm still not sure what's up with this backpack. Very diesel punk looking. I almost wanted to paint those like headlights. Maybe they were supposed to be them. I don't know. I mean, it looks like the grill of a car, doesn't it? But I figure if I can get the detail that decent at a 4X zoom shoved up in front of the camera, you know what? It'll look fine on the tabletop. I think, were they from the same set? No, this guy was from the Underhive set. I've got way too many Raging Hero figures that's like laying around here waiting to get put away. Maybe it'll happen. Probably it won't. And then finally, because, well, I'm always painting and working on them, I finally tried to finish up the original Lunar Twilight Night. And I didn't do the greatest job, I'll be the first to admit, but I will add that caveat that she is painted. And again, if most of those details can hold up under super duper close scrutiny, it may not be the best paint job. But I feel like it's at least pretty solid. I did try to draw with a paintbrush. Now, I will admit, I did start doodling on the side of her dress there like the patterns when I first started this before any of you guys recommended those pens I still am waiting someday we will make it to a hobby shop someday it's not like I have anything holding me back I feel like you know what since my kids are finished with Japanese school I feel like I have less time on the weekends now which doesn't even make sense but that's where we are of course with one of them graduating high school it's probably not helping because He's constantly busy. The other one's constantly doing stuff for school, so. Yeah. But we managed, and if I can manage, you guys can too. And like I said, my wife was off this week as well, and it really felt more like vacation. And I'll be honest, and I was telling her, I just didn't feel like painting much, but I did manage to get a few more things done. So if I can do it, you can do it, and probably a lot better too, because let's be honest, I'm a sloppy painter. I may be stubborn, I may be diligent. But I am not very thorough, at least with my glasses on. So, yeah. Uh, now that I seem to have kind of gotten back into the work groove, I will try to post this stuff on social media if anybody actually wants to see it. We'll put it there with that hashtag, Weekly Painting Progress. You can find it on our 
uh, social media or Instagram stuff. And I am trying slowly but surely to start getting things ready to upload all kinds of bizarre art books and stuff on Patreon. So there's at least a reason to visit it. And as always, we've got that Discord link uh, through the Patreon too. So you can check that out. We'll have that link down below as well as links to all this stuff as well. And with that said, then, this has been High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.